All right, today we have an exciting video on my channel. Don't do many of these, but actually it's a mega exciting product. It's Wheel Talk EDS. Uh, so we're gonna go through it, gonna go through just unboxing first of all. I've got a bike, got a frame coming next month, which I will be able to build it on. At the moment, it's just gonna be going through, looking at the weights, looking at what is good, maybe what's not so good and all the rest of it. So anyway, let's get amongst it. So first of all, get a nice little box. This has got most of the, most of the stuff. I've got the hydraulic group set because my frame coming is also hydraulic. It's just got some good, good things to keep it through. Got instruction manuals in English and Mandarin, I think. So it's all good. Basically, you need to download an app. We'll go through the app uh, towards the end. So this is how the box comes. Obviously, it all comes in plastic. Not ideal. Uh, Shimano moved away from that, but you know, I think hopefully in the future they will as well. So anyway, this is the rear derailleur. It's a pretty beefy boy. Uh, we're going to talk about the charging as well. So obviously, it's all waterproof, standard stuff. It's got that kind of charging port so it's like shimano and sram put together where you have to charge on each mech but it is internal you can't take it off so this is the weight of the rear mech with battery 335 grams so that is pretty pretty heavy i think i'll have all the weights of 105 next to it but it's definitely like uh, a lot heavier than an equivalent Ultegra or 105 um rear mech so this is the shifters go through the shifters actually kind of how they work so it's similar to Shimano. So these are the way they look. I think the angle of it looks decent. Obviously I haven't ridden them, but the way they like flare out, I actually think looks okay. Uh, so this is the the front, sorry, the rear shifter on the right for the front brake. So, well, in the UK, so it's got two sh paddle shifters, standard kind of, again, similar to Shimano. You can see on the inside, you can see quite a lot of stuff. And like when you move it, it kind of, the whole thing moves, which isn't great, but it looks okay in terms of the brakes uh obviously i haven't said that yet so we don't know anyway this is first shifter 223 grams so it's decently heavy obviously it's got um it's got uh, a battery in it as well uh so this is the right shift so the left shifter this is for the front mech now this actually makes sense it's just got one button because obviously we don't run three three speeds at the front anymore so it just goes left uh all right anyway it's doing stuff because i have connected it but anyway we'll, we'll whack that on so as a pair of shifter it's 400 46 grams so not not terribly heavy actually to be honest um not too bad now this bad boy is the front mech again charging port here uh it comes shipping with chargers so standard stuff uh it's just like its own pr proprietary charger which is fine it's not great but that's just the way it is and yeah the front mech looks okay it's pretty big uh we'll see what kind of teeth it looks it looks like it can take big teeth um if obviously SRAM it's like automatically put down a little bit because they've all got small small teeth so it looks decent but weight wise 188 grams so again not super super light uh but that is kind of what you expect I guess maybe with something that's not costing a lot uh in terms of price it's going for 700 euros 750 euros which is good but it obviously doesn't come with chain it doesn't come with cassette it doesn't come with uh cranks and it doesn't come with rotors either so you need to bear that in mind it's not like okay 105 is more expensive but 105 does come with a lot of stuff so that's the first package you get just the kind of standard uh group set things uh the last thing we're going to unbox today is also the calipers again comes in with some nice nice stuff uh it was like pretty well packaged to be honest so what calipers it comes with they use shimano mineral oil which is good uh, i mean it's not really good or bad it just depends but if you're if you're on shimano it means it's easier to bleed brakes because you've got the right the right fluid already and there's less stress of cross contamination with dot fluid dot and shimano not good weighing these calipers is going to be basically impossible um i'll give it a go but you can see like this is it's got a little hook on the end to help with internal cable routing otherwise uh it comes with brake pads which is again nice nice addition apart from that it looks pretty standard brake caliper i can't really say much about it uh you know it's got three more uh bolt for the brakes and that's about it anyway i'll try and weigh it mm, looks maybe 180 would be my prediction 180 grams so not crazy light not crazy heavy just pretty standard but obviously that includes the the caliper uh sorry includes the hose so that's obviously gonna weigh a little bit more this is the other one again comes with a hose all standard stuff so just kind of what you expect it does come with a lot of parts which is good because 
We set up a, uh, a hydraulic group set. There's actually a lot of parts. It doesn't come with everything you need. Uh, we can kind of go through it because you will need to probably most likely buy more stuff. So it comes with like the direct mount uh, fixings here. Uh, this one's for the front mech as well. So I think you can run, it allows you to run 140, 160 uh, at the front if you want. It comes with all the kind of uh, attachment kits for the, the hose, hoses into the shifters. It also comes with, sorry, I'll get these things out. It also comes with hydraulic uh, mounts for the, the hoses, the, for the calipers, which is good. They might not fit your chain, uh, seat stay or chain stay or whatever, so uh, you might need to change it. But all in all, it does come with a decent amount of stuff. It doesn't come with any mineral oil, uh, which is fine, but you know, that's just the what most, most stuff doesn't. So that's nothing really to write home about too much. So yeah, that's kind of all in all first unboxings uh what are my thoughts i think it looks okay it doesn't look like the most unbelievable thing you've ever seen but i'd say the biggest usp which i probably haven't mentioned is that it does 7 to 13 speed now that is pretty wild uh i've actually got it up to 14 speed on the app so i don't really know why because you can't actually buy a 14 speed cassette a 13 speed again is a bit niche but what it does mean is that you can change cassettes as long as you've got like a 12 speed chain you could run at 10 speed or 11 speed or 12 speed because obviously the chain is narrow so it's all good so that is a pretty good like advantage and i say that's probably its main advantage is that you can run on multiple speeds second advantage obviously cost is pretty cheap it's not like mega cheaper than a lot of the low-end group sets just because it doesn't come with loads of things that you need uh but yeah otherwise looks like fine i mean the key question is is it reliable well we'll find out so yeah next i'll go ahead going into installation with the app uh which We'll, we'll speak about it. I was going to do it this video, but it makes more sense to do it in a whole installation video uh, of when I put it on my bike and we can talk about the app and how pairing works and everything else. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.